In this video, I am going to solve again another problem about the topic on simple stress. This is the problem. A steel column of hollow circular cross-section is supported on a circular steel base plate and a concrete pedestal. So this is the figure. The column has outside diameter of 250 millimeters and supports a load of 750 kilo newtons. Letter A, if the allowable stress in the column is 55 megapascal, what is the minimum required thickness T? This one. And based on, your, based on the result, select a thickness for the column. So... Uh, the suggestion is select a thickness that is an even number, such as 10, 12, 14, and so on, in units of millimeters. And then letter B, if the allowable, allowable bearing stress on the concrete pedestal is 11.5 megapascal, what is the minimum required diameter D of the base plate if it is designed for the allowable load that the column with the selected thickness can support. Okay, so let us start with A. So A, given ng allowable stress na 55, given sa ang applied load P, 750. So using the formula for normal stress, stress equal to force over area. Stress is given, force is given, so ang unknown is area. So this is the resisting area, annular. It is equal to the outer circle minus the inner circle. Okay. And since given ang, given ang outer diameter, so what we can solve is the inner diameter. And from there, after solving for the inner diameter, we can solve for the thickness. Okay. <clears throat> so, for letter A and given stress, uh, allow, uh, applied load, and the outer diameter. <clears throat> so, this is the formula for normal stress. You just substitute, no? Stress is 55. Megapascal is Newton per millimeter square. Therefore, the force must be expressed in Newtons. So, 50, 750 kilonewtons will be converted to Newtons. And for the area, it's bigger circle minus smaller circle. And this one, stress is 55. Uh, applied load is 750 kilonewtons, so times conversion, uh, 1,000. 1,000 newton per 1 kilo, kilonewton. And then the resisting area is bigger circle minus smaller circle. And using your calculator, you can solve for the inner diameter, D sub I. The inner diameter is 212.456. And from here, we can solve for the thickness. So the thickness is actually uh, outer diameter minus inner diameter and then divided by 2. Okay. So outer minus inner over 2. The required thickness is 18.77 millimeters. Now, the condition is we have to select a thickness na even. Okay, so therefore, you will have to choose between 18 and 20. Which is safer? 18 or 20? Okay, so okay. the safer one is the bigger, bigger value. So you, we are going to use 20 millimeters because what will happen if you will use 18 so if you will use 18 uh, uh, the thickness is 18 so therefore 
our inner diameter is uh, 250 minus 2 times 18, 30, 36. No? So 250 minus 36, that's 214. So we will have a bigger inner diameter. So what will happen? If we have a bigger inner diameter, the value of the numerator will be smaller compared to the original one. So, oh. so if, if you will have a, an inner diameter of 214, this one will decrease. So if you will divide P750 by the smaller value, we can get a bigger value of stress. And it should not be the case because 55 is the allowable value. So therefore, we will choose 20. And by choosing 20, if T is equal to 20, then our inner diameter is 210. Uh, 250 minus 2 times 20, 210. So, smaller inner diameter, pag small, uh, smaller and DI, uh, and denominator will, the value of the, the denominator will increase. No? And pag mo nang i-divide, ang eh, um, resulting stress will be smaller than 55. So safe siya. And therefore, we will use 20 millimeters. Now for letter B, so letter B is uh, find the minimum required diameter D. Okay, and this involves bearing stress. Bearing stress on the concrete pedestal. So this means now the pedestal experiences bearing stress. And the pressure comes from the base plate. Which means, in other words, the base plate will exert pressure to the concrete pedestal. Okay. So, the applied force is no longer 750 because the condition here is the P allowable will be based on the selected thickness. So based on the selected thickness na 20, we will solve first the allowable P. And that force will be used in uh, analyzing the bearing stress. So stress is given, allowable load given, then we can solve for the area. And from here, we can see that the bearing area is a circle. The base plate will exert pressure towards the concrete pedestal, then ang um, contact area is area of a circle with diameter D. So, using this thickness, uh, we have to solve for the P allowable, allowable load. Okay. <clears throat> so, still 11, I mean, um, for the allowable load, we'll use this one, 55. But then for the area, uh, we'll solve for the inner diameter with thickness equal to 20. So inner diameter is 250 minus 2 times 20. It's 210. Okay, so solving for P allowable, we have this one. 55 equal to P allowable conversion, which means na the unit of P allowable must be in or will or is in kilonewtons. Kilonewtons and then multiply it by 1000 newtons. Now. Uh, so we have this P allowable. And then after this, substitute na sa equation sa bearing stress. So bearing stress is given 11.5. Bearing force is this one. P allowable. Ang bearing area is area sa circle. And using in your calculator, the diameter of the base plate is equal to 296.48. That's it. And thank you for watching.